It's interesting, isn't it, that words have meaning, and they have, and, and they have meaning well beyond uh, the point at which we've said them, written them, or, or read them. Words linger, and, uh, and actions linger. There are some things we say and do on the spur of the moment. We regret them um, or not, but they're spur of the moment things. There are some things which are planned, where we seem to have some thought about them. And it's that latter group where I think um, we need to take proper responsibility. The former group, yeah, I've, I've got some sympathy. We all say foolish things in the heat of the moment. We all say foolish things when somebody is pressing us to do so. In the case of the Jeremy Carr show, this was planned, scheduled, scripted, and learnt and delivered. It was very, um, very intentional. Uh, in the case of Kurt Zuma, it was filmed by his brother and then posted on social media. It was intentional. Now, um, w what is interesting is how many other people are, uh, will share that blame. And this is really the, the alarming part, because when Jeremy Carr made his joke, people laughed. Um, there, was a, uh, there, there was quite a, a noticeable guffaw. And this was some time ago. So I find it, I find it alarming that the target of this, um, the target of the Jeremy Carr uh, issue is, is, is him alone. There's an entire audience uh, that needs to explain its response. And, uh, and similarly, Kurt Zuma, I think uh, the manager and the owner of West Ham need to explain why they uh, wanted him to play after this scandal had broken. Um, and it's no good distancing, uh, it's no good them distancing themselves from it and saying, oh, it's a different matter, or, oh, he apologised. This was a deliberate act of cruelty. Uh, the RSPCA have now taken away his cats. I believe he's been fined. I don't think it should stop there, and I don't think it should be targeted exclusively on him. I think other people uh, have responded. Other people have effectively patted him on the back and told him that... Uh, it's okay, this is something that will pass. The same sort of things have been said, of course, about Boris. Um, events, things you say, things you do, come back to haunt you. Now, um, on the Boris front, there are certainly people who had parties deliberately, who organised those things deliberately, who bought cakes, who went into the cabinet rooms, and now they're crying that... Um, uh, that, that, that too much attention is being paid to them, that this is unfair. I really am not sure that's the case. If you bought a cake and you brought it into a crowded room, you are responsible. Um, it, it, it's, just, it's just disturbing, uh, this buck pack uh, passing and this... Uh, there's two things, really. The inability to accept responsibility and this very strange um, modern idea that uh, a few words of apology is going to put the whole thing to bed. An apology is about a deliberate decision to change the way you behave. So we want to see some evidence that there is change. Um, repentance. And, um, and a deliberate determination to make things better. And if you're in the public eye, that means on a grander scale, I'm afraid. So that's what we want to see. Not some wringing of hands and saying, oh, I don't like the attention that uh, the press is giving me. That's the press's job. Uh, do follow the channel and um, ring the bell and let me know what you think about this. Um, and I'll try and post something more uplifting later. <laughs> Have fun.